I can't believe it. I'm editing my final barley vlog. <laughs> where has that month gone? This is going to pick up where I am leaving my home stay at the base of the volcano. Agung's picking me up and taking me to the temple. And at the end, I'm going to do a roundup of barley of my best bits. Enjoy. So the accommodation homestay where I stayed is about four kilometers down this little road. I would have never, ever known that this was here. If Agung hadn't collected me and brought me here, it's one of his favorite temples. It's right at the base of the volcano. It's so gorgeous. Agung explained to me it's one of his favorite temples. This is a special place for healing. Um, Giran means happy. We took a moment to walk to a part of the wooded area that was so very special to him. This is so peaceful, so lovely, so cool. And all of the trees and plants in this temple are used in the healings. So this plant is Giran Giran, which makes happy. So I'm going to touch it lots and lots and lots because I need lots of happiness right now. This is a very sacred temple. Healthy heart, healthy head. And they all symbolize parts of the body and the gods come down from the mountains. We left the temple and headed down past some beautiful rice fields and took some photographs. The views from up here were absolutely amazing. We stood and watched somebody working for a while before we headed back down off to town. Right, so this, this is soup. Soup. Um, what what flavour soup? Goat. Goat soup. Okay. The sign of a good meal when it's all gone. It was really nice. I found my new accommodation, Mooka House, down another little lane. <laughs> it was really lovely. Nice and quiet. Didn't have a swimming pool, but it was so peaceful. This is my room, number five. And I really enjoyed staying here. It was lovely. I'll give you a room tour in a minute. They've just bought me a lovely welcome drink. And this is my new room. And through here to the bathroom. It's actually an inside bathroom this time. Hot and cold shower. Very nice and I'm staying here for a week. I have walked miles and miles and miles and I've just found this little place that does babby ghouling. So I've stopped and it looks amazing. Look at that. Talk about a tropical storm. Woo. My breakfast has just been delivered. Very nice. Poor guy got soaked. This was the day I did my barley blessing. I was so very honoured to be asked to go with a gun to do this. The rest of the day I just did laundry, went out for dinner and watched the sunset. It was lovely. Okay, I know it's naughty, but it's brownie and ice cream. So I've come back to the little um, massage place called Kutut, where I had my facial the other day. And I'm going to treat myself to a massage. I'm all dressed and ready because I'm going out for dinner and then I'm going to a shadow puppet theatre this evening. It was a hundred, a hundred rupee, which is about £5.50 for the ticket. And it starts at eight and finishes, I think it's about 9.15, something like that. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. I've not seen a shadow puppet show before, so I'm looking forward to it. They're playing lots of traditional music. There's been a lot of ceremonies. I think it's been the full moon and different things like that. So the um, they're playing the traditional music quite loud this evening. <laughs> so yeah, dinner and then a puppet show. And you know what? I'll bring you with me. Come on, you can come with me. Come on. I've come back to the same restaurant I ate in yesterday. It looks amazing. <laughs> uh, 
and this is how it works from behind. Very clever. <laughs> So here we are, my last full day in Bali. Can you believe it? When I first arrived, I was like a fish out of water. I can't believe I've been here for a month now. Time is just going by so fast, it's scary. Tomorrow, a gun is picking me up and taking me back to the airport. Um, coming from here where the pace is quite slow, and then going to Singapore where things are all busy, busy, busy. It's gonna be a complete change again. My Bali highlights, what are they? Well, just arriving in Bali was an experience. <laughs> arriving in the middle of the night and all the sights and sounds and yeah, that was quite something. And down that little creepy lane when I first arrived, I have to say I was quite worried when I first arrived. Um, what was next? Oh, monkey forest. My little friend, my monkey that came and took a selfie with me. <laughs> um, no, that was really nice. And from there and the hustle and the bustle of Ubud, I then moved to Cedarman, which was rice fields and beautiful. And that was on Agung's recommendation as well. And I'm so glad because that's where I met the lovely Jackie and Sonia. Oh, lovely, lovely ladies. And if you're watching, hi ladies, and I'm missing you so much. We had some really good times. We went out for dinner. We had way too much to drink on Gilead, but that's another story. Um, yeah, and talking of Gilead, that was next. I have a special place in my heart for Gilead. I went back and I did two dives. It was fantastic. I went and watched a movie in an open air theater and it was my favorite movie, Eat, Pray, Love. Fancy watching that in Bali. The girls and I went out on a brilliant evening out, lots of dancing, lots of laughing. It was so much fun. And actually the girls, I've got to say thank you to them because I left my charger and a guy called Marcel, they got in contact with him and he managed to get my charger back. So. Thank you. The new one that I bought, it lasted two weeks. It was no good. So I'm so glad that I got it back. So thank you. Marcel then dropped me at the ferry terminal and I went from there and I met a taxi driver and went to Changu. Um, busy. It's nice, but it's not my thing. I think I've learned something about myself. The fact that I like the slower areas, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I went, but two days for me was enough. And then I went up to the mountains to a beautiful homestay. And yeah, I'm sorry, I got a little emotional. I just felt like a failure at everything because I couldn't ride this bike that was held together with cable ties. <laughs> And then the ATMs weren't working and there was no service, no signal, and I panicked. But I'm fine now. <laughs> um, and then a gun come to pick me up and it was so lovely to see a friendly face. And I think right then I needed to see a friendly face and it was so nice for him to drive from a bud to there to pick me up. He then took me to the temple by the volcano, but that was so nice. And then the blessing when he said, would I like to join him in a blessing? And not the one that's like lots of tourists, just a private one for me and him. That meant so much. And I went through each of the waterfalls and I got my little blessing band. It was so nice. Um, yeah, that's got to be one of my highlights, actually. I'm back in Ubud, which is my favorite kind of town area. Gilead is my favourite area but of course that's Longbok, it's not actually classed as Bali. I wish I'd got to the other Gili Isles which is Gili T and Gili Mino um, but again 
it just means I have to come back. Like Australia, there's still things I want to go and see and do. So, yeah, looking forward to all of that. But this kind of now wraps up my trip to Bali. Can you believe it? Time is going so fast, but I've had a lovely time here in Bali. I spent, I think it's 29 days in total I've spent here and I've loved it, I really have. And the food, oh, I have to give a special mention to the food. My favorite dinner by far is Babi Gooling, which is like suckling pig. It's like roast pork with rice and crackling and oh, yeah. And thanks again for taking me to all these little street food restaurants. If you're coming to Bali, try the food. Sometimes, like the breakfast, it doesn't look appetizing. Just taste it because actually, you might surprise yourself. It does taste lovely. So anyway, here's goodbye to Bali. And I will see you tomorrow for our travel day. We're going to Singapore. <laughs>